Um, our concept note is something that evolved. It came to this point that we're going to share with you today um, through various uh, things that we did and, and stages we passed through. But what we really want to do, our vision and our rationale, we believe that there's a need and we wish to ignite a learner of loving throughout South Africa. Why? So that we can achieve excellent and consistent educational outcomes firstly and secondly build the foundation of a stable, economically prosperous and more equal society. I think it's beyond argument that if we don't have a, a stable, well-functioning educational system, we're not going to have the economy that we seek. The vehicle for this for us is very much an action vehicle. We are suggesting a national advertising campaign aimed at the development of a culture of learning that engages all South Africans in school, in the home, and beyond the home. And we want, we specifically not targeting, um, initially teachers were part of our target group too, but we moved away from that. We're targeting the learners themselves and parents and caregivers. So we're actually looking at the home and the role that the home can play in, in creating this love of learning in our society. Um, because this is what we want to unleash, this love. We believe that there needs to be in our country a fundamental paradigm shift amongst all South Africans regarding the roles that specifically is played in the home in education and learning. I think it's necessary to have this shift in order to realize the potential if we're going to become modern, prosperous and a united society, which was envisaged in our constitution. We therefore think again, and we're challenging what we're seeing, we think there is a need for a shift in a mentality, a mentality that results in both individual and collective ownership of learning, which we don't think we're seeing at the moment, and also a love of learning. Oh, we don't think we're seeing enough of that, because that can improve the performance of the education sector in a very profound and enduring way, is what we're arguing. Um, We'll be saying that without a citizenry that can be economically productive, politically engaged, innovative and continuously learning, we cannot build the kind of peaceful, united, prosperous country that we seek to build. Um, and furthermore, that South Africa presently is at the margins of the international community, and we don't wish to remain in that kind of position. But in order to get out of that kind of position, we do need to take action. Okay, so why us? Why Bridge? Um, because there are several participants in this group that are very eager to have a direct and a profound and a broad impact on our educational system. Um, that these participants we have, um, we believe that there are a variety of false notions out in the society in South Africa about education and learning and that these actually are dangerous and we need to, to correct what are false um, notions in this country. And we have a desire to be involved as the Messaging Subcommittee in something that makes a significant change. And the objectives of a campaign like this, what we would want to see coming out of it, would be attitude change and conduct change. That we want to convey the message that everybody in our community has a role to play in educating the children. It's not just the governmental role, and everybody out there has potential. We want to re-engage parents and caretakers and re-empower them because we believe there was a phase during which parents and caregivers were far more engaged in education than they are presently today. Um, and that maths is certainly not a subject, but it is a thinking process for problem solving. Because I think what, what often is, is something that people are put off, they see it just as a subject and they don't see it as this process of learning how do we think and analyze and, and deconstruct and reconstruct. Um, issues. Um, the audience and our messages, to whom are we aiming the messages here? We want to aim specifically at the youth, at parents and caretakers, and we want to ask them and through this campaign to encourage them to take up their share of responsibility for education and learning. Because we believe that learners are not sufficiently engaged in the learning process and they often struggle on a material kind of level. Um, but also that most of our learners don't in fact know what educational success looks like um, because there are no role models and therefore we have ideas around role models and we'd like to present to you a bit later on what we think who, who role models ought to be and why such people and, and how those could be used. Um, we don't have a culture of reading in our country and education just generally is not valued to the degree that it ought to be valued. The result is that we're in a very vicious cycle with the achievements that we are having in our educational sector. And we want to, through our campaign, this advertising campaign, which will be on a national basis, we'll explain in a moment, to break this cycle and have a paradigm shift that takes place and an action that comes into place.